Northern Ireland is a place that's filled with pain and with pride. And nowhere is that better demonstrated than here at the Titanic building in Belfast. When the Titanic ship was launched here in 1911 on this very slipway, it was the biggest and the best ship that had ever been built. It was a moment of incredible pride for the people of Northern Ireland. And yet, when it sank a year later, 1,500 people lost their lives. It was a moment of immense pain. In June, there is coming a moment to Northern Ireland which is full of pain, but which could be remembered really proudly. I am my singing. One in eight people go to bed hungry every day. And one of the consequences of that is that two million children die every year from hunger. That's the equivalent of three Titanics sinking every single day. That is just not painful. That is an absolute scandal. In June, the world's most powerful leaders, the G8 leaders, come to Northern Ireland and we have an opportunity to send them a really simple message. There is enough food in the world for everyone, but not everyone has enough food. Wouldn't it be an amazingly proud thing to be part of, to say that here in Northern Ireland, we took massive steps to end world hunger. Pray with us at 108 every day, at lunchtime, for the one in eight who go to bed hungry. I'd invite you to set your alarm on your phone now and do just that and click on to our website and our Facebook pages and we'll give you loads of ideas so that you can pray in a really informed way. Secondly, send your message to David Cameron and make your voice heard about this important issue. You can sign your card in your seat or if you're watching online, follow the links and send your message today. Through the prophet Isaiah, God shouts at us to loose the chains of injustice and to share our food with the hungry. This is our opportunity at our time in our generation to do something about the scourge and the pain of hunger in our world. This is an opportunity for us to build a world that we can be proud of. Join us.